Hi there. But today we're going to talk about the advantages of septic tank risers and why septic tank risers are important on your septic system. The riser extends the opening of the septic tank up to finish grade. And so why would we want to do that? Well, basically it provides easy access to the tank for servicing and pumping. Um, it provides easy location of the tank. So when, when and if you ever have a problem with your septic tank or drain field system, you can easily check the tank by popping the lid off the top if it's at grade. Otherwise, you're stuck having to, uh, number one, locate the tank, which in some cases can be pretty difficult, and number two, dig it up and find the lid so you can access it. And then, of course, if you dig it up and find the lid, you run the risk of a bunch of dirt and rocks and debris falling into the tank when you're doing the servicing, whereas with a septic tank riser, uh, you pull the lid off at grade and usually it sticks up a little above grade, so it keeps things from falling in the tank when you're servicing it. It also promotes tank maintenance. So if you've got a, an accessible septic tank, or you know, in, in some cases like a pump dose tank, a pump tank, effluent filter, area or even a separate filter base in some cases it promotes it promotes maintenance of that equipment so if you have access to that equipment you can easily uh, inspect it check the septic tank check the pump equipment make sure everything's working properly uh, possibly check the splice boxes and electrical connections if it is a pump equipment and that can help uh, either address early problems or just make sure things are not going sideways on your septic system. Some of the different risers, riser options in the market include uh, specifically on a, on a concrete septic tank you could go with concrete risers and you get those from the precaster you bought the tank from normally you either get a additional lid or the lid that that would normally go down into the tank or into the top of the tank would go on top of the concrete riser. The problem with concrete risers are twofold. One is it's it's fairly difficult to get a concrete riser to seal at the septic tank joint and that's a real common place for septic tanks to leak water in during rain events or high groundwater. The other problem with that is that lid, if it's a concrete lid, is really heavy and difficult to remove and so uh, not the ideal solution if you want to maintain your system regularly or check it regularly. That that lid is is definitely hard on your back. Um, the other thing with concrete, I guess the the third and final thing that that I'm not real excited about with concrete rises and lids is they tend to degrade over time. <clears throat> Sometimes the gases in a septic tank will erode those and eat those away and, and eventually you end up with a safety hazard because the lid doesn't fit well over the riser or the risers crumbling and so you know again not the best solution in my opinion uh, poly risers there's a lot of poly products uh, in most cases uh, these risers are taken from a long stick of you know culvert or drain pipe and they're cut into sections to make risers um, these are nice and durable and strong risers. The lids attach to them well as long as they're cut straight. The problem with poly risers, unless they're cast in the septic tank, is poly is like gluing something to wax, which as you've, if you've ever tried that, it's very difficult. And so to get the riser to attach to the septic tank through some kind of riser or tank adapter and get it to seal watertight is next to impossible. And so a lot of people's try, people tries different a lot of people try different methods for attaching poly risers and most of them uh, don't give you that structural watertight seal at the tank that we'll talk about. Injection molded risers, so uh, a variety of companies are making risers that are molded uh, out of plastic and they end up uh, kind of like a Lego set in some ways. They bolt together in different sections or heights and in some cases they bolt to tank adapters. Um, these are not a terrible solution in most cases. There's a couple out there that are actually fairly cheaply made or maybe I should say inexpensively made. 
and the lid options in some cases are in my opinion pretty dangerous uh, I've seen a couple uh, domed looking lids that go on these injection molded risers that over time become weaker and I would be afraid of someone falling in through the through the lid so <clears throat> the other problem with these typically is when you affix the lid to the riser they have special individual bolt catches that are part of the injection molded piece that is the riser itself and over time if you remove the lid multiple times those tend to get broken or stripped out and so ultimately you run out of uh, options for attaching the lid so then you're you're apt to just leave the lid unattached and that's definitely a huge safety hazard because kids could come in or you know little kids could lift that lid and fall in the tank which has happened in the past uh, PVC risers uh, the picture you see in front of you are is an example of a PVC riser solution these are these are also kind of culvert pipes that come in a variety of sizes most commonly 24 inch and 30 inch diameter and they're cut to length or I should say to height to match your riser requirement uh, these are nice and and I think preferable to the poly risers because PVC is fairly easy to bond to with you know a, a two-part epoxy or some kind of adhesive so it it provides a little bit better structural attachment to a tank adapter that could be mounted to the tank which once again we'll talk about in a little bit uh, the lid options for these are in a lot of cases this is pretty good uh, very heavy load rating lids some of them are made out of plastic some even the better lids are made out of fiberglass uh, so there's a lot of options you know lids you can get for all, all the different kinds of risers at least most of the different kinds of risers so you can get them vented or you can get them insulated so there's once again quite a few choices um, the heights of these risers come you know in a variety of heights some of the injection molded risers you have to stack risers on top of you know other sizes of risers or the same size riser to get the height that you want but um, the PVC and the poly risers you can actually just cut to length if you've got a stick of the pipe or by to length possibly there's also riser extension pieces that would allow you to extend a riser using some kind of adhesive or epoxy to add another section if you ran into a situation where your riser wasn't tall enough to get to grade um, the diameter of risers varies quite a bit I've seen a number of different diameters 18 20 21 24 30 inch you know even larger than that in some of the fiberglass products so the, the diameter obviously is important uh, as far as gaining access to the equipment that's inside so in a lot of cases if we're doing a pump tank on a residential system a 24 inch diameter riser is fine if the riser isn't really deep and you wouldn't have to reach way down in there to get to the equipment um, but on a duplex system you've got more piping and equipment so a 30 inch riser may be appropriate for that usually access to the septic tank you know, on the inlet side or out even the outlet side as you see in this image would require a 24 inch riser or even something possibly smaller than that um, basically all you got to do is access that tank and get a hose down there so they can pump that and inspect it if there's an effluent filter on the outlet side then you need room to reach down and pull that out uh, again risers on each opening are important especially if you have an effluent filter because you need a riser over the filter to clean it or to access it and then you need a riser over the inlet side to clean it typically those filters are removed by hand and carried over to the inlet side and sprayed off and then reinserted in the outlet side um, important riser attributes uh, water tightness is the primary or one of the key importance anyway if if you're able to install a riser on a septic tank or pump dose tank and you can't get it to seal watertight for for whatever reason then it then it could render the system uh, highly ineffective at appropriately 
treating water and putting it out to the drain field and protecting the drain field. So you want to look for risers that are watertight and more importantly they have a, a, a way to seal them watertight to the top of the tank itself. And then of course you want the lids to be sealed uh, airtight because you don't want the smelly sewer gases coming out through the lid and causing issues with your barbecue party or whatever the case may be. You also want a riser that's structurally sound uh, and very durable. Uh, in some cases you have frost movement in the soil that can pull the riser off the the tank if it's not securely fastened. Uh, you can have settling issues after construction that can cause problems with risers. And then just general damage from the surface if, if it gets bumped and it's made of light material it could crack and break it and cause an issue that way. You want to make sure that the lid can be secured and is durable also. So if you're mowing the lawn and you happen to run over the corner of the lid, you want a lid that can withstand you know, a number of years of, of abuse in the yard before you actually have to replace it. And so some lids are better than others. Again, I mentioned earlier a lid that I was a little afraid that it was made of too light a material and someone could potentially break through the lid and fall in the tank. And of course, you know, one of the one of the more important things is cost. When looking at these risers and selecting a riser solution for your system, you know, cost is obviously a big factor for everybody, and nobody wants to pay more than they have to. But quite frankly, the in in risers and ris riser attachment equipment, cost is usually uh, you get what you pay for kind of thing. So you would buy one of the less expensive injection molded risers and lids, you're going to get a lot cheaper solution than if you bought a PVC riser and adapter solution with that kind of system. <clears throat> so riser attachment options. There's a lot of different ways to set a riser either on or in the pore of a septic tank. One of the better ways is to actually pour the riser right into the lid of the septic tank or the other upper half of the septic tank while the tank is being constructed and some septic tank manufacturers do this the problem with this method is you need to know specifically what your desired riser, riser height would be so that they can cast the entire length of riser in the septic tank when they do the pour otherwise you end up having to extend the riser or cutting the riser down it's difficult to cut a riser down and get the edge really flat so the lid fits on there well to keep the tank airtight so you don't get a bunch of smell out of there when the tank is in the field. So I don't really recommend doing it that way unless you really know what the height is that you need for your tank. Um, the other way to do it would be to cast in a riser adapter in the tank. I like this method personally the best because when the tank arrives to the site the riser adapter is sticking up out and around the openings and so all you have to do is select your riser diameter that matches the riser adapter and the height of the riser and then you can epoxy that to the riser adapter in the field and make that connection. Very easy to do, very quick. Uh, another way to go is if you have just a raw tank lid with no risers whatsoever which is the most common thing you see in the field then you want to set down a tank adapter. The tank adapters available in the market typically bolt down with expanding stainless steel anchors uh, between the tank adapter or I should say riser adapter, riser tank adapter. You uh, would have normally a mastic that goes between the adapter and the tank. Now it's really critical that the tank is cleaned extremely well. I like to actually spray the tank off with water to get to remove all the dust and, and any fine material and then let it dry out and put the tank riser tank adapter down on the tank and bolt it down with the expanding bolts. Uh, this is a little bit more difficult simply because you have to actually you know use a, a hammer drill or a rotor hammer to set those bolts in the concrete and uh, there's, depending on the opening of the tank, the lid opening, there are different solutions uh, for this, different widths of riser tank adapters that would, that would bolt down on the tank to pr provide this connection. 
Um, when connecting the riser to the tank adapter, as I mentioned before, we're using in the PVC risers, we're using a, a two-part epoxy resin kit that has more of a kind of a peanut butter consistency when it comes out of the the packet after you've mixed the two parts together and you put a portion of that on the riser and a portion of that on the riser tank adapter. Obviously you're going to probably use some acetone or some other cleaner on both surfaces before you apply that epoxy. Uh, then you would put, after you've applied the epoxy, you'd put both together, push the riser down on the neck of the riser tank adapter and then I like to add a fillet of epoxy around the connection on the inside just to make sure we have a watertight seal there. Uh, within a short amount of time that epoxy hardens and it is a extremely structurally sound connection. It's, it's almost impossible to break those two apart once you've done that. So if you decide you need to retrofit your septic tank with a riser that can be, depending on the depth of the tank from finish grade, that can be fairly difficult. But there are tools and equipment, and some of them I've mentioned in this present or this discussion already. You would want to dig that tank up and expose quite a bit of the surface of the tank around the opening, and then clean that area thoroughly with 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 a hose or spray it down, and then dry it out. And then you'd want to set down your riser tank adapter and install your riser accordingly. So I hope this uh, I hope this video helps you understand a little bit about how risers work, the different types of materials that risers are made of, <clears throat> and I hope you will consider uh, subscribing to our channel. Uh, some of these products are available on our website which is www.rcworst.com Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate it.